And welcome to another edition of Your Health with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO. Our guest this morning is Dr. Izaz Gori, gastroenterologist here with MU Healthcare. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about colorectal cancer. And uh, March is Colorectal Cancer Month. What's your main message you would like to get out for that this month? Hi, thank you for having me on the show. Um, just to begin with, uh, mainly colon cancer has been something that has been under under recognized in terms of what it can affect, how it can affect people long term. Of course, the extreme outcome from this is, you know, a cancer turning to a life threatening outcome. But uh, what's good thing about cancer, colon cancer in particular, is that it's something that's preventable. And since the early 90s and late 90s, when the cancer of colon cancer awareness has picked up, colonoscopy rates have gone up. We have prevented a lot of uh, lives being lost. Overall, our goal was to achieve 80% uh, rates of colon cancer screening. We are at about 65% national average. Uh, Missouri, state of Missouri in general, is actually doing about 67%. So we're 2% ahead of the national average, but it's still a long way to go. And our goal is hopefully to get to that 80%, preferably 100% screening rate. How often should you be checked for that, that type of cancer? Um, in general, as you're aware, most of the patients who do come in there, 50 years is what uh, the general consensus is. But there are a lot of societies, uh, GI societies in general, that say 45, especially American Cancer Society, suggests starting at age 45 due to younger patients being detected with colon cancer in early stage. But uh, starting age 50, I would say, is a reasonable time to start. And every 10 years uh, would be what is generally recommended. Now, of course, if you have polyps detected, polyps are little growths in the colon that can turn into cancer. If these are detected, then you need to come more frequently every three or five years, depending on what your gastroenterologist suggests. Are there certain things that would uh, cause colorectal cancer? Um, there are no absolute uh, sort of associations, but in general, there have been found to have some associated risk factors like, of course, advancing age, um, obesity, diabetes, certain family members having colon cancer puts you at higher risk for uh, colon cancer itself. Uh, having um, Eating healthy diet tends to prevent colon cancer, like eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, taking a lot of fiber in your diet, staying away from red, large amounts of red meat consumption. Um, also, there are certain conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. These puts patients at higher risk for colon cancer as well. And last but not the least, there are certain genetic uh, sort of uh, mutations. Um, most likely, these present in families who have multiple relatives with colon cancer. So that's an easy way to sort of determine who needs to be screened sooner than later. Is there anything you can do to lessen the risk of getting colorectal cancer? Uh, I think you were mentioning diet has, has a lot to do with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And diet has become such a big thing. And that's one thing that, uh, you know, patients themselves can sort of control. So I do suggest a lot of my patients um, to you know, a wide, large amounts of red meat consumption, do more white meat, more like chicken fish, um, take a lot of fiber in your diet, um, avoid, you know, uh, taking a lot of greasy food and, you know, fruits, vegetables are your friends. And so, yeah. Exercise, a, a good idea as well? Absolutely. A healthy living overall is considered a good thing. And of course, every doctor you go to, they always say, quit smoking if you are smoking. So <laughs> I cannot finish this conversation without say, mentioning that, you know, smoking has always been directly associated with a lot of cancers, including colon cancer. If folks want to get a screening, they, they, they first need to check with their, their primary care physician. And then uh, how would they uh, go about finding, uh, finding you here at MU Healthcare? Yes, uh, that's very important to sort of address as how does, what are the integrities, how does this actually happen. So a primary care physician or a family medicine physician would be the first step, uh, you know, seeing your doctor and then um, they could refer you to us and we'll be happy to take care of your needs. Now, some family physicians tend to, uh, you know, uh, do some stool tests as well. That's a good alternative to do a colon cancer screening, but by far the best test is probably colonoscopy. Having said that, the you know a lot of society guidelines do suggest we can use some stool tests. It's very important to pick the right kind of stool tests, um, and your family, family medicine or your primary care physician will be happy to, I'm sure, help out with that. Most certainly. With it being a colorectal cancer month, we, is it a good idea, t since it's on the top of everybody's minds, to go ahead and try and get that screening done? Absolutely. You know, and we'll be happy to you know, take care of uh, you know, patients who come in from anywhere across the state of Missouri. We do get patients far from, you know, far off areas, four or five hour drive in, they're coming in and we, you know, we're more than happy to have them and we tend to accommodate them different times of the day 
and uh, hopefully, you know, if they see their doctors, I think it's a great idea to bring it up next time they see their doctor, maybe even make a voluntary visit or a call to the doctor's office and ask them that is this time for you to get a colon cancer screening. Like I said, among all the cancers, there's a lot of cancers out there. There are very, very few. I could name probably three. There could be a few more which are preventable, and colon cancer happens to be one of them. So we should be lucky that we have an opportunity to prevent it from happening. Anything else you want to add to our conversation here this morning? Just, you know, get your colonoscopy done, and once you're, you know, 50, please stop by. We'll be happy to take care of it. Great job this morning. Thank you for taking your time out and talking to us. It's been another edition of Your Health with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO.